don't know. Ah, uh, there we go. Good morning, everybody. How are you doing? And welcome to Mermaid Swamp. Okay, taking a little bitty break from dust. I had like a three hour nap. I tried to sleep bed too hard. And it's my birthday, so I think that the birthday anxiety got to me a little bit. I am 22 years old today. How about that? All right, so uh, Mermaid Swamp. This, uh, <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys, like, keep up with uh, any of my other videos, like Dust, but I, I talked a little bit about Meg doing some art for me for an RPG Maker game. I'll talk about some other stuff too, but this was what she was working on for me. Mermaid Swamp is made by the same person that made Paranoiac. A lot of you guys loved Paranoiac. I know I did. Uh, this game kind of has, it, it fixes a couple of the problems Paranoiac did. So that's good. Yuri's learning how to make games. And, um, most people just play this for the story. And that's what we're all here, right? The story. So let's stop dilly dally shilly shallying and get started. I am spooky. Wait, no. I am ready to be spooky. This game contains grotesque and somewhat sexual images. Please be mindful of this as you play. The author takes no responsibility in advance for any trouble or damages indirectly brought about by this game. Alright, Yuri. I'll remember to keep my lawyers at bay. So most of you know, I'm hydrophobic, so- Oh! What the? Am I... underwater? What the hell am I doing? Somebody there? Rin! Wake up! Oh! Uh, <laughs> Seitaru, is that a guy? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Stop sleeping already, for crying out loud. Ah, uh, shut up. I was just taking a nap. That's so bad. Oh, one hell of a nap. You just been driving all this time, and you've been just snoozing, it, snoozing in the back. Sheesh. Not a hint of a lady in this one. Not exactly interested in being ladylike for an early bald and punk like you. Oh, snap. Rise and shine, Rin. I'm gonna guess you slept well, given you've started around noon. Yeah, but thanks to Baldy here, more of a rude awakening. Quit your yammering, Yamazaki. Hey, Yuta. Where are we, anyway? You said something about kicking things into high gear? But are we in the mountains, or what? <laughs> My bad. I don't know what this is. I where this is either. Huh? You telling me we're lost? Yep. Don't have the first clue where we are. Oh, optimistic about it, isn't he? You gotta be kidding. You said the mountains were a shortcut, so I thought you knew the way. Sorry about that. I mean. I did kind of know at first, but the fog just got so thick. <laughs> uh. This ain't funny, shrimp face! This is exactly why I didn't want to go on no trip in your lousy old GPS-less car! Ow! Don't kick the seat! Can't, I can't even see any signs. Utah, why did you stop? I, I I didn't. It just stopped. Hold on. I'll I'll try the engine. These graphics, though. We've been staring at this little car for like five minutes. Ah, crap. I think it's totally busted. Are you for real, dude? You. Ah, wait here. I'll go out and take a look. Alright, well, let's check the hood. 
pretty spooky out here. Nothing looks wrong to me. Why the hell did it stop? So much language in this game. Nothing looks wrong to me. Why the hell did it stop? Oh, okay, oops. Mm. Why would we not? Why would we go forward? <laughs> no. Oh, come on. What's back here? Nothing. All right. All right, I'll go forward. Oh! Is it somebody there? Oh, hello. I'm Deckard Kane. <laughs> oh, yeah, Deckard Kane voice. Perfect. What a surprise. What would you be doing up in these mountains, miss? Looking for Diablo, I suppose. Just an old coot. Damn it, don't freak me out. We were on a trip, but our car went kaput, so I guess we're stuck. That's very unfortunate. Is there anywhere you can stay? Nah. If we can't get it running, I guess we'll be spending the night in the car. You needn't do that. My home is nearby in Tristram. You can stay there. Even if it's summer, it's quite cold in the nights. Oh, oh, oh goodness. That's no way to hit on a lady. Huh? For real? Well, let me talk to my buds. That's a relief. Thanks, old man. But you're sure? We don't want to pressure you. Well, I'm a landlord around here, you see. My house is much bigger than my needs. I would appreciate some young folks make use of it. I'm really grateful. We'll get the car fixed and leave tomorrow. Ah, uh, I can see it now. Whoa, that place is huge! Damn, now that's a mansion. I kind of feel bad, Gramps, but thanks. So much language. You don't have to beep a lot of me. Whoa, it's really roomy inside, too. You gotta be rich, am I right? <laughs> rich enough to be ashamed of the state of this old place, perhaps. I like his beret. <laughs> Come along, and I'll show you to your rooms. You can use this room, Miss Rin. Forgive the old-fashionedness. It ain't nothing. I kind of like the whole retro thing. Thanks again, Gramps. I'm sure you're all hungry, aren't you? I'll cook you some dinner. Until then, make yourselves at home. Look at that door. That's a paranoiac door right there. This also runs on the same uh, engine. It runs on Wolf. So yeah, uh, <laughs> like I said before, a lot of you guys know I am hydro. Phobic, so being in a mermaid swamp sounds pretty spooky. Uh, I guess they're like killer mermaids, like the sort of thing that Death Clock sings about. Nothing in there. Just like in Paranoiac. So I wonder if this... Nah, I don't know if they're going to be hiding places. Like, I don't know anything about this game. Like, just launched up today. Mm hmm. I don't have much food on hand for guests. Would chicken and egg on rice be alright? What? I'd kind of prefer something beefier. Like, literally, beefier. Unfortunately, I'm out of beef. I must apologize. Oh well. I'll eat anything on this stomach. Or maybe on most stomachs. <laughs> alright. Okay. Oh, oh, hey, look, a mermaid foreshadowing. As if the title didn't give that away. <sighs> Thanks for pointing out the obvious there, Rin. Rin Kazama. No, just kidding, that's Jin. Oh, no, no, I'm like... Oh, God, I'm a Vocaloid. It ain't that old... Uh, it ain't that old of a building, really. You see the other places out back? Now that's old. There's another mansion out back? Yeah, just like in Luigi's mansion. 
The old man tells me they built this one a generation ago since the other one was falling apart. Huh. Large swamp can be seen. I, uh, I don't live in a swamp, but I live near a swamp. I'm in Florida. Like, 80% of this place is swamp. Oh, I didn't know there was a door. So, that's cool. There's some double doors here you can walk through. I hope we're not going to be chased around like before. Like, is this a paranoiac clone? Oh, there's another painting. I kind of want to look at all the paintings. Are they all just... Oh, man. Locked. Hey, old man! What do we got in here? <gasps> TV! <laughs> ATV. That's an all-terrain vehicle right there. Oh my god, can you imagine this phone making the annoying paranoiac noise? Alright. <laughs> old man, you have a thing for, like, women and water, don't you? I think you need some help. This mansion seems to only have one floor so far. Hey, Rin, you see that big swamp out front? Yeah, the one you can see out the windows? It's super huge, isn't it? Maybe I'll go swimming tomorrow! Oh, he's gonna die first, I know it. <laughs> yeah, uh, stay away from me after you do that, because you're gonna reek. I like how our protagonist looks kind of pudgy. Like, I know it's just probably the sprite, but... <laughs> Hello. Nice, your room has a dresser. I ain't got one in mine. It's a great design, isn't it? You can come over to do your makeup in the morning. Hey, thanks a bunch. Hey, cool, so... <laughs> Yuri, you were too lazy to put a dresser in her room. Oh, there's the stairs. Maybe I shouldn't walk around too much. Don't want Gramps to find me and get mad. So I guess we're done. Uh, just gotta talk to him in the kitchen. Uh, where do I go? Like, hmm. I explored all the bottom floor, I think. I think. Oh, oh, I know. Let's try and leave. Yeah, okay. Whoa. That's one big swamp. Okay, so there's a big improvement for this over Paranoiac. You can go outside. Oh, wait, you can go out back in Paranoiac. I forgot. Never mind. Hmm? Whosoever reads this stone shall die a horrible curse. What's this? A stone monument? Uh... A man did abduct from the seashore. Crap, I can't read this. Maybe Sayataro would know about this old stuff. He's got more knowledge than he knows what to do with. Curious about the monument. Jesus, old man! Oh, that was really close. <laughs> that was a reaction. Gah! Jeez, old man! You gotta not do that! Oh, my apologies. Did you read the inscription? Nah, couldn't make heads or tails of it. What's it say? It's a legend that's told around here. The legend of the so-called mermaid swamp. Sounds mystical. Legend? It originated from the middle of the Meiji era. My family has governed this area since around that time. It is said the son of a leader descended the mountains down to the seaside and discovered a mermaid. Sounds shady right out of the gate. <laughs> well, it is a legend. The man was so smitten with the mermaid's beauty that he took her to his mountain home. He, creaked, he created a fish tank for her to live in and he filled it with the water from this very swamp. But a mermaid of the sea cares not for swamp water. The mermaid grew weak and became quite ugly. 
Her clear skin swelled, her scales fell off, and her voice, as melodic as ringing bells, was reduced to a beastly howl. The mermaid took on the most repulsive form, and subsequently died. And the mermaid's wrath is no pretty thing. Young women have vanished from the nearby village. It is said to be the mermaid's cause. As such, this monument was put up to mourn her. What do you think? Hard to call it romantic, but interesting nonetheless. Yes? Uh, uh, sorry. I don't know about all that. Tell it to Sayataro. He likes stories and stuff. Uh, is that right? <sighs> well, I've prepared dinner now. So come in the dining room, if you would. Oh, finally! Let's get a move on! <laughs> These protagonists are just asking to die. Mmm, delish! This is some great stuff, old man. Oh, I'm glad you like it. You can slow down a little, though. Uh, the bath is free, if anyone wants to use it. You must be tired from this day's events. Please, rest yourselves. Yuka? Aren't you gonna eat? What's up? Yeah, uh, I guess I'm just too tired to have an appetite. Whoa, you okay? We'll clean up. You can get some rest. Alright. Thanks, Yuta. Yummy, yummy! Y'all clean up now. Why do we have to clean up after you? Do it yourself, yummy yucky. Yeah, work on your names while you're at it. Man, I'm stuffed. I'm really, I'm ready to conk after that bath. A conk out. All right, so night of the first day, or, yeah, night of the first day. Ah, nice fluffy bed. Mm. Are you guys pumped? I'm freaking pumped. I'm shaking in my chair. Huh? Am I underwater again? Must be a dream. I mean, I'm not drowning, and my eyes don't hurt. Can't move a muscle, though. Somebody's there again. Who the hell is that? Stop staring at me! I'll kill ya. I think I can already see where this is going. Got some good sleep. Morning already? How can you tell? Alright guys, we're gonna save it right here. Uh, log. There we go. Rin Yamazaki. Alright. Do we get some items? Cell phone, charger, and we apparently have a quit. Alright, um, so that'll be it for our first episode, there's gonna be more, um, I'm like wide awake right now, and I have a lot of time, and because of how some things have been working out regarding, I don't know, <laughs> just work and time and balance and stuff like that, I'll, I'll talk about it later, so, anyway, you guys, I will see you in the next episode. It'll be right after this. Uh, and until then, I will see you next time. Dasvidaniya.
stop dilly dally shilly shallying and get started. I am spooky. Wait, no. I am ready to be spooky. This game contains grotesque and somewhat sexual images. Please be mindful of this as you play. The author takes no responsibility in advance for any trouble or damages indirectly brought about by this game. Alright, Yuri. I'll remember to keep my lawyers at bay. So most of you know, I'm hydrophobic, so- Oh! What the? Am I... Underwater? What the hell am I doing? Somebody there? Rin! Wake up! Oh! Uh, <laughs> Seitaru, is that a guy? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Stop sleeping already, for crying out loud! Ah, uh, shut up! I was just taking a nap. That's so bad. Oh, one hell of a nap. You just been driving all this time and you've been just snoozing it snoozing in the back. Sheesh. Not a hint of a lady in this one. Not exactly interested in being ladylike for an early bald and punk like you. Oh snap. Rise and shine, Rin. I'm gonna guess you slept well, given you've started around noon. Yeah. Oh no. Ah, there we go. Good morning, everybody! How are you doing? And welcome to Mermaid Swamp. Okay, taking a little bitty break from dust. I had like a three hour nap. I tried to sleep, bed too hard. And it's my birthday! So I think that the birthday anxiety got to me a little bit. I am 22 years old today. How about that? Alright, so, uh, Mermaid Swamp, this, uh, <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys, like, keep up with, uh, any of my other videos, like, Dust, but I, I talked a little bit about Meg doing some art for me for an RPG Maker game, and I'll talk about some other stuff too, but this was what she was working on for me. Mermaid Swamp is made by the same person that made Paranoiac, a lot of you guys loved Paranoiac, I know I did, uh... This game kind of has, it, it fixes a couple of the problems Paranoiac did, so it's good, Yuri's learning how to make games, and um, most people just play this for the story, and that's why we're all here, right? The story, so let's 